you can buy uh, tickets in the box office, so there will be no mistake for you. But for us, we're in, in touch, so we just buy tickets right here. So we get our ticket. Um, if you buy a few tickets, don't forget to press this button. Press this button. Because there's just only one ticket at a time. So one person, one ticket. Don't forget to print them. Peter Goff train is go uh, with a direction named Orient Baum. So watch this on the desk. So today, me and Ponka were not very lucky because uh, sometimes you can take this train, Lastichka. And it's more comfortable with uh, toilets, with uh, plots, you now with the tables in the seats, so you can have a break, a lunch, whatever. But today we take this train, the old one. Don't throw away your ticket while you're in the, on the road and save it till the end and use this line when you're entrance using this one at the exit. So here we are. Here we are, here we are! At old Petergoff station, starting our trip to Petergoff itself. So there is a stop, bus stop over there. And you can take a bus straight to the old Petergoff. But we decided to take a walk through the park because it's a sunny day, a good weather, and why not? It takes only 25, 30 minutes. So that's our choice. So if you decided to go also through the park by your feet, then don't worry. Just keep on the left side. Always, you know, hold the left line, left road, and just follow the, the group. I think 90% of the people is walking to the uh, new Petrogov. Uh, before it was just a uh, outdoor residence of, mm, of our Tsar, of our king. Later, after he passed out and everything was, you know, personalized, it became a city and a lot of houses, quite modern, quite old, very old, appears in the area. So now it's about 100 people, 100 thousand people living in around uh, Petergof and it's have their own cafes, restaurants, hotels. <music> to Petergof it's better to get from the ground, not from the water, from the ground by train or by, 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 by bus or by car, whatever. So after the main gate uh, you'll be uh, able to see I, the most significant view it's closed oh man but i will try to show you a little bit so when you get inside under reconstruction you will see all this park beautiful very beautiful it will be over in the december that's how the box office looks like you can also buy tickets on the internet this complex was uh, built in like 17th century, started in 1710. Peter I uh, decided to build this place uh, while he was on a trip to uh, Kotlin Island. It's the place where Kronstadt is and he decided to make it happen. Uh, he was inspired after the visiting of French Versailles uh, and he was like so excited about it and he wanted something, something like like Versailles for himself, so he given order to build this complex in, uh, in a village named Strelna at the moment. But the architect, the guy who is uh, responsible for making a fountain, said that it's impossible in this area, let's make it in somewhere else. So they find Petergoff uh, and build it right here. Well, the territory is quite big, and I, to be honest, a little bit tired already. So, when you come here, before you're starting exploring the area, try to take a little rest, maybe. So, I will follow you, you know, subscribe your channels and social nets and Instagram. Just put it somewhere in the commentary and I'll do it, I promise. As my thanks to you, thanks to you. Wonderful Landscapes is the visit card of uh, Petergoff. 
So this museum is closed now. To be honest, while we're making those videos, realizing how much of the of everything is closed now because of the COVID, and it's a good opportunity to make like you know a renovation. That what are they closed by? And that's the Baltic Sea. So from here you can see everything. St. Petersburg over there, the pier. So if you come here by the boat, by the way, so you get right here and you gotta go all the way up to see everything. And if, if, if you're coming by the car, by the train, you're going down, so it's easier and better views with panoramas. And then you take a boat from here, go to St. Petersburg straight away. It's not cold at all. So if you come here in the summer period, I think you can easily give yourself a swim. And that's also the statue of the guy who built all this. Thank you for the beauty, Mr. Peter. And that was the rose garden. And because we are quite in a tight schedule, we're going to the other side of the park to show you a little bit of all the locations but for you I advise to spend here really a, a day a sunny day and this is the Merlin Palace small and beautiful cozy and nice the balcony Marley it also closed for I don't know for, for a reason I think as everything else because of the COVID some restrictions at the sunset period, all this metal plate is shiny, so it's very, very beautiful. Thank you for re-establishing this wonderful, wonderful. So here we are at the, at the last stop for today. I think one third of the park is closed for reconstruction. And most of it will be open on May of uh, 2021. So next year, next summer, everything will be prepared. And to be honest, today we spent here uh, four hours. Didn't visit it, everything. It's my first visit here. And as I was saying, a lot of things closed, but they will be open and they will look like brand new, which is good for you. And even though with uh, good, uh, very positive emotions. The last thing to do is to get on the boat and get back to St. Petersburg. One more thing, uh, there is a fountain. Uh, in Russia we call them Shutiha, a joking fountain. They start sparkling, sprinkling uh, randomly. You don't know when. So, and everybody is running around, especially kids and some girls sometimes in white t-shirts with no bra they <laughs> they <laughs> running around this fountain area and suddenly it started like to spring and everybody got wet a lot of fun a lot of laugh it was a wonderful day time to go home that's the box office ticket office so you can buy a ticket for a meteor it's you know also a specific experience to be honest be careful there is many sites with the tickets and there is a schedule in english and russian language whatever but i think last ship taking away to st petersburg at six so don't get late so stay around please press the like button follow our channel subscribe our channel and you know, do everything you can for us to become a 
good tourism society.